So for this episode, we're heading out on Yaru Country to Crab Creek and we'll try to do a bit of catch and cook. It is the dry season up here in the Kimberley and apparently there are plenty of crabs around and salmon are biting too. Crab Creek is about half an hour drive out of room on the other side of Roebuck Bay. The area is uh, famous for its massive tides and we'll spend the low tide looking for some crabs in the morning before fishing the incoming tide to see if we can get a few salmon on the bite. The particular type of mud crab we are targeting are prized for their impressive size and delicious taste. They have powerful claws which can be dangerous. There are some fishing regulations regarding size bag limits, so make sure you check these before you get out there. Here we are Crab Creek, We're going for crab. Hopefully later we can catch some salmon. Eh? Stay tuned. Eh? <laughs> So just see the snake. You better watch out for any snakes around here. So yeah. When hunting for muddies, you want to look under the rocks and in the holes. A simple but effective way to get them out is using a crab hook. It is basically a length of metal rod with a band in the end. Let's hear from Jurella about how to use a hook. My name is Jurel and uh, I just caught a big crab here. What are you using to catch it there, Jurel? Uh, we use a crab hook. So normally, like with this crab like on top of this you you don't catch it like that with a hook on top no first the hook have to lay down it's the crab right here this hand you have to go underneath the crab turn the hook like that so you can pull them up easy Perfect. so let's have a look what you've got in here beautiful big buck in here he's a nice crab yeah. Lovely. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh. There you go. Beautiful. Lovely. That's a nice crab, Matthias. Beauty. So we walked around for another hour and had some good luck. Most of the crew manage at least one keeper. So we had plenty for a feed and even a couple to take home. So uh, we're putting this over them so they won't fall out or even claw our fingers. So, Give them something to nip on to. Yeah, you get something to they can grip on. Yeah. See like that so they can grip the other bread. Stepping on it, you know, get used to it. 
with a bucket full of crabs and the tide pushing in, we decide to head back and get ready to go fishing. Yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for when we go fishing. We might start lifting, eh? Apparently that spot over there is where everybody fight for. For catching salmon and stuff. We're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna eat some fish and some tuna meat. We fished up the rocks for an hour and we couldn't catch any salmon. But we caught a few other species of fish for our feet. Lovely. What have we got here? This is a trevally. Any good? Any good to eat? Yeah, they're really good. You can cook this like in a fire, yeah, good, but you can make like a curry pan. I got on Yeah, nice queenie. Beautiful, look at it. Stings if it's pokey. So be careful. Are uh, we just making a fire? So yeah, this is like driftwood. So like driftwood, they like light sticks. For real. And with with the wood like this, it can burn quickly. For hmm? other normal wood, they just put it on fire for them. You break it. And I burn them. That's them. Put them that one on. The reason why we use this is to cover the cloth. So yeah, so everyone bite our fingers we call it too. Can I have one? Okay, one? if this little crab right here can you see get my finger. You put him up my cloth. Mine will be they work together eh? That's a lot. <laughs> wow, that's one claw. So it's your right, yeah, you got a little bit. Right now. Oh, it's really good. Ah, my toe! <laughs> ah, my toe! <laughs> ah, oh! Oh! Hey, you There I miss. I get it. Hit them with rock, hit the toe with rock. Yeah, I'll break this claw. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! Oi, oi, oi! Well, you got him, you're right. Yeah. Are you okay, Jarrell? Yeah, I'm right, miss. Is your toe alive? Yes, alive and kicking. Yeah, okay. Right <laughs> Still alive and kicking. Okay. doing everything as we catch and cook but just tell him nicely don't and we don't are ready to pack up to head back <laughs> Is that to show everybody how the fish is and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>